Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. This time we're going to look at render slots. What they are, where we can find them, what they will do, and what they won't do. Alright, I've got the same scene that I used in the previous video. We're going to do some rendering and figure out exactly what render slots can do for us. The only thing I'm going to change is just to let you guys see it, that currently in my render tab, have my display set to image editor. I'm going to make that full screen just to make our renders turn out a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and uh, render the scene as we had it before. There we go. Now, the first thing we need to notice is down here at the bottom, we have this little tab called slot one. And if we open that up, we can see that we have eight slots in here. Now, what do render slots do for us? Basically, what it does is temporarily saves a snapshot for the purpose of comparison. So right now, we have slot 1, which means the picture we rendered has automatically been saved in slot 1. Temporarily, it's, it's not a JPEG or anything like that. Now, I can still hit, even in full screen, I can hit F11 to go back, or I can hit my Back to Previous button. Now, let's say we want to play around a little bit, and I think, you know, I'm not sure I like the monkey quite the way it is. I think I'm going to go ahead and smooth him out. And maybe while I'm at it, maybe I'll bump his specularity up my specul in my uh, materials tab. And, you know what? I'm going to undo both those because I wasn't thinking. I'm going to do another render and here's the thing you need to be aware of. I've got this slot one and if I had rendered like I had before it would have overwritten this because I never chose another slot. So this time I'm going to pick slot two and we can see it moves to nothing in it. And I'll hit F11 to go back now I'll make my changes. I'll smooth that out and I'll bring up my spec and I'll render again. Alright, so now we can see in slot 2, which is where I left off, we have the render with the changes. Now it's time for a hotkey. That hotkey is simply J. I have no idea. It has nothing to do with render slot. I suppose just because they're running out of keys. But we can toggle through any active slots by hitting J. So there's render slot 1. We can see here. And we can see our less specular knobby little monkey. And if I hit J, we see him smoothed with more specularity. And we're on slot 2. And I think, well, maybe maybe that's pretty good, but I'm not sure I like the red. So before I leave, I'm going to hit slot 3. I'm going to go back to previous. And I think this time, maybe we'll go with a full blue. And we'll try and render again. All right. I'm actually kind of liking that for this scene. So I may decide that that's the one that I want to go with, or I may use J to toggle through and say, well, I definitely like it smooth, but you know, I did like the red better than the blue. Whatever we decide, when we go back, there are some important things to know. Regardless of what slot we're hanging out in, it doesn't affect anything back in our actual workspace. The changes we've made have been made. So if we go back, we're going to have to reset. If we decide, say, we wanted the very first slot, we're going to have to reset everything. It doesn't save the settings in the workspace. Now, the other really important thing to note is, and if I go back here, the slots we have... are session dependent. What does that mean? That means that everything we do here and every slot we save it in while we're working will remain in there unless we overwrite it while we're working like I just did with slot 2. 
You can see slat 2 and slat 3 are now the same. However, even if we save this file out, when we come back in, there will be nothing saved in our render slots. They are independent to the session they were created in. It's really just there for you to get an idea of different things you can do and compare them without saving out a bunch of image files or making radical changes and not being able to get back and remember what it used to look like or anything like that. So it's a pretty simple tool. It doesn't do a ton of things for you other than offer some simple comparison. But that can be really handy when you're setting up your scenes. Um, in this case, all we did was change some colors, but you may have changed some camera angles or things like that. So it does have its uses. All right, that should pretty well cover render slots. I'll see everybody in the next video.